Hello Pisces, welcome. This is gonna be your love reading for June 2020. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. These are general messages, so they may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, feel free to check your other placements, okay? We have Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. We have Reconciliation, someone from the past is returning to your life. Okay, let's see. We have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. We have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I feel like you are not feeling the chemistry with whoever is returning to your life. I feel like you're just not feeling it. Like maybe in the past you wanted this situation to work and it didn't. And now it's just like, you know, and they, I feel like they're still holding on even though they may have um, <clears throat> done you wrong. Like, they may be the reason why this hasn't worked out. And I feel like with the unrequited love that you're just kind of over it and just like, ugh. But they, I, I feel like I get the vibe that they haven't caught on. Like they haven't, like they, they're just, not delusional, but they're just not catching on to the fact that it's ran its course for some of you though some of you may be um reconnecting with and it could be anyone from the past but i do pick up on someone who you just don't want to speak to um but i feel like it's because of distance we have wedding the situation involves marriage so let me let me get some info because already seeing what's going on for june what's their energy towards pisces all right we have the three of swords we have the world i feel like this person feels like it's it's like deep down they know that you are done with them or that this could be the end of the situation i feel like they're aware of the things they've done, but it's almost like they, it's like I'm seeing one, I'm seeing one thread hanging on. So it's like they're hanging on to that one thread, you know, of hope that it's possible. But I feel like you and them both know about this unrequited love, that there's not enough attraction or chemistry in the situation. What's Pisces energy towards this person? Oh yeah, the Ten of Wands. Oh my goodness. Cards are falling, cards are falling, okay. So we got the Ten of Wands. I feel like, as I've been saying, this is you kind of being done with the situation, releasing it. I feel like you're seeing what else is out there. I feel like you are wow with you it's wands so it's like action like you're not fronting you're not pretending that it's over you are making it clear you're making it known i feel like you're releasing a lot of baggage in june releasing what doesn't serve you the things that you're that you're carrying the things that you feel are holding you back from getting what you want out of life or even in your love life i feel like you're releasing those things and you really like taking action towards that so other energies are coming up for Pisces yeah it doesn't look like you are open to this it's like you're this four of cups they're this page of cups they're kind of holding on to it I feel like this person really like they're kind of clueless when it comes to what they need to do or what they needed to do in this situation and you're just like Ugh, four of cups like it's like they're giving you the cup and this is you reacting to the cup the cup is love the cup is emotion and you're just like unrequited love like not enough there's not enough this, this person didn't do enough they didn't do all they could do and they still are not quite sure of you know how much they have to do how much effort they have to put into this relationship to make it work there's still like 
I don't even know what to say about them. They're like, they're just kind of clueless. I don't know if it's like they're younger than you or just you're, you're just more mature than them. Well, let me get into the spread for June. What's going on with Pisces? The month of June. Ace of Swords. Yeah. So your feelings in this situation, the Seven of Pentacles, this is, this is too little too late. You're still very attracted to this person, I feel physically. Physically, you're still attracted to this person with the Empress. There could be a Libra for some of you. But I get that this situation, you have waited too long for it. You may, have, you may have invested a lot in this relationship and saw nothing come out of it. Like, you know, some of you might be open to, the, to see where it can go, but I feel like a lot of you are releasing this person who is returning. So this, this Ace of Swords, it could be you being open to them or it could be you still being open to love after everything you've been through. But this is a new beginning after a really horrible situation that you've been through all right so wow they're feeling this nine of swords here they're feeling the nine of swords yep there's that page of cups again there's been too much conflict here you could be dealing with a gemini but there is a lot of conflict going on between you both and what's blocking, there could be a situation where someone was unfaithful with the lovers being here. And it could be them. Or it could be vice versa. But I'm seeing with the Page of Cups, it's still here. Showing up again. They still are holding on to a glimmer of hope. They're holding on to that one little thread. Okay, what's the outcome for Pisces? The Charia in the world. Again, the world again. This is a situation that a lot of you are closing. This is a chapter that you're closing. I feel like you're wanting to open a new chapter. Some of you, it could be with them. I feel like that's a small amount of you. And a lot of you, I feel like you're just, you're just done with what you know, you've invested so much in and got nothing out of. Nothing but conflict and probably betrayal. All right. Some of you may have been in a, a relationship, but not like an official relationship. And it may have not like they may have not committed. After everything you've done, they still didn't commit. And it's like, why? You know, but now they're feeling this nine of swords. They're going through a lot of anxiety about the situation. Right now, six of pentacles. They're kind of. I feel like they're wanting to give more at this point. But as I said, like some of you feel like it's too late. Some of you might be open to it, you know, if it's convincing enough. But I feel like a lot of you are just like too little, too late. We got Cancer energy here with the chariot. I see you moving forward. So again, I'm getting two stories. Some of you want this, some of you don't. Either way, whether you go for this or not, you're still going forward. Kind of guarding your heart here. I feel like this situation has been a lot for you. And I, I get the feeling that now, everything you felt, they're now feeling with this Nine of Swords. It's like literally, I wouldn't say karma, karma, but like they're kind of getting their taste at this point now. You know, so the pain that you felt before, they're now feeling it or they will be feeling this in June. If you're going through this right now, it's kind of going to backfire on them. Right. But they're just going to be going to be thinking about giving at this point. They're going to be thinking about putting in the effort, but it doesn't look like you are interested even though you're still attracted to this person some of you are still attracted to them still seeing them as the empress someone really attractive they could be it could be that they're just abundant could be a wealthy person 
But why is this Nine of Swords here? Yeah, some of you may have rejected this person already, but if you do in the future, this is going to bring them into this Nine of Swords energy. That rejection, you know, they may start to realize in June that their behavior hasn't helped them at all. You know, their, their ways of dealing with things hasn't helped them at all in the past. Why the Six of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles. Queen of, Queen of Wands in reverse. It's, it's really like the tables have turned on this person. Like, it's really, it's like, it's like, okay, I'll say at this point, it looks like karma. Now it's starting to look like karma because now it's like they, they're all out of options. It's like you're their only hope at this point. It doesn't have to be options as in people. It could be that they just, maybe they're a little bit down financially. Maybe they're just lonely. Maybe they're, you know, they're, they're losing or missing out on something here. You know, it could be a health issue for them where they need your help or support. It could be emotional issues. It could be anxiety that they're dealing with. They could be having some kind of mental breakdown or something of that nature. Something that they need help with, I feel, at this point and it's like the tables have turned you were there all along and you know they took you and everything you did for them for granted and now they need everything now they need your nurturing energy now they need you and you've had enough some of you have had enough why this why the ace of swords got Scorpio energy I see that you this is all about transformation so you know you're ready for that change you're ready for that new beginning you're ready to put things to rest you got the world death these are all ending cards I get the vibe that Pisces you are you're washing your hands of this and moving forward chariot moving forward Oh God, why? Hold on. Okay. Why the page of cups for Pisces? Yeah, this is, yep, wow. This person might be feeling some kind of codependency, not wanting to leave and not feeling confident within themselves. This is affecting either their confidence or their ego, the fact that you're not, you know, available to them. Or in June, you might find that you just don't want to be available to them. This is really going to hurt their ego or their self-esteem or something here. But all I'm getting is the tables have turned. The tables have turned. Why the chariot? Why is the chariot here? Yeah, some of you are moving on to new love, you see. But some of you, we got the world in reverse. That's why I keep getting like these two different outcomes. A small amount of you may be thinking about rebuilding with them. And I feel like a lot of you are like, no. As I said, either way, you're going forward in June towards someone. Don't know who it is, whether it's them or someone new, but... Because I'm seeing two, two outcomes. So we got the page, sorry, not the page, the four of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like you're still going to be open to love. And some of you are moving on because of how stagnant this situation has been. It just hasn't been moving. And it seems for a lot of you, it may seem like it only starts to move when you start to move away. And it's like, that's a waste of time. <laughs> I'm being drawn to like my timer thing here that's why i got it there for like a message anytime i'm drawn to that means something to do with time waste of time 
a lot of energy, a lot of effort put in, nothing coming out. Only when you decide to move forward is when they decide that they need you. I feel like you're really fed up with this and just completely wrapping it up. I see paper being torn up. I see just done, 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 done. Okay. Let me see what's going on for you going forward in June. Wait, let me look at their, let me look at their actual feelings first. This person's feelings towards Pisces. Yeah, they they don't they don't want to leave. They don't want to leave. We've got the seven of swords in reverse. They don't want to leave. This is someone returning, and then we've got the five of cups in reverse. I'm reverse, what I'm saying. Cups spilled over. So there's a loss. This is how they're feeling. Sad. Missing you, not wanting to leave. But it's always when you are done with them. Is when they're like, no, 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 you know, this and that, you know, they have so much to say when, when you decide, you know, not to be played with anymore. They end up disappointed. Anytime you decide to detach, like it doesn't go in their favor whenever you decide to detach, they feel like, oh my gosh, I need to quickly come towards Pisces. Okay, what's going on with Pisces going forward in June? What's going on with Pisces? What can Pisces expect going forward? What can Pisces expect? I feel like I feel like you should not be surprised if you kind of feel weak. To the situation at times it's natural that you have feelings that you have a history with someone that you're gonna feel a little weak at times emotionally that's just human you know but I feel like you have the strength to move forward especially because you know that it's not it's not equal it's not equal give and take and you may have some of you may have this weakness to help this person when they come forward with their sub story or their whatever illness they have or financial issues they have, whatever it is that they come sub into you about, you may feel that weakness to help, you know, because Pisces is selfless. They like to help, you know, but <sighs> the five of swords, I don't like this card. It's like shady. This, this could be you kind of just giving up the fight and just going towards what's important to you, building your life with this Ten of Pentacles. But also for some of you, don't let anyone take advantage of you financially. So if it's a financial issue they have, be careful because it doesn't look good here. Um, as I said before, some of you could be dealing with someone financially secure so it doesn't have to be that but I feel like if you are the one who is financially secure be careful if this person is asking for financial help because the five of swords this isn't exactly someone who is actually in need and sad this is like shady business you know just be careful of that not all of you are dealing with that type of person but I have to point it out since it came up all right, let me look at the oracle cards. What do we have for Pisces? A time to give rather than take. You're very close to achieving your goals. We have breathe out. No, take time to breathe out. And we have work through your fears, Scorpio energy. So maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio or Virgo. We have Gemini, Cancer, Libra, but... I feel like this person is now wanting to give after not giving in the past. Like you gave, 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 and now they are wanting to give, but be careful of an agenda that they may be wanting something in return as well. 
you know, or just stepping up because only because you're leaving. You know, so just I feel like you should just really pause. When I see this, take time to breathe out, kind of pause and just observe the situation, work through your fears. Okay. So you may just have that soft spot where you just want to help people, but if you've done everything in this situation, what more is there to do if you still haven't gotten anything in return? Like, how is it going to be different this time, you know? But, as I said, not all of you are dealing with someone who is that terrible or about to use you. It really depends on your own situation. I'm just seeing that you've given a lot to this person. We have the situation will improve. We have abundance, so... We have meditation brings answers and let go. I do feel like with let go and take time, it's all about like taking a break. So they come around and, you know, you probably start feeling all kinds of feelings, obviously. But it's the important thing, the, the easy way to deal with it is to just pause, you know, just pause and work through it. Uh, really analyze their intentions, see what's really going on behind the scenes. But I do see that this person, like, they, they may really be dealing with stuff, you know, with this Nine of Swords. But for some of you, it's kind of your pain that they are now feeling, you know. And at this point, if you've gotten over it or if you're on the verge of getting over it, it could be risky going back just because they look all sad, you know. Again, like, that would tempt you to want to help. But I get the feeling that you're thinking about you anyways, you know, with the Ace of Swords and the Chariot going forward regardless. So I really don't need to give you advice. <laughs> but I'm just... Just looking at the situation, like knowing that Pisces is selfless and likes to help. And how that can easily just turn into the same cycle, you know. The same cycle is either over with the world or it's a repeating cycle. So it's like your choice, you know. But we have you very close to achieving your goals. So I feel like you have everything figured out it's just a matter of when those natural feelings kick in are you going to be able to you know make decisions that you feel comfortable with you know so pisces this is what i'm seeing for you for june like your person they're now feeling the pain that you felt and we have the four of swords here at the bottom of the deck so again take it a break you know take it a pause because it may just come it may just come down on you like all at once we did have the ten of wands so you may feel a little bit burdened a little bit pressured but as long as you have you know as long as you're ready okay so pisces this is what I'm seeing for you for the month of June 2020. Check your other placements if this didn't quite resonate or if you want to know what else is coming in June. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new and thank you so much for watching.